Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. My name is Andy. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the holsters that I use or the favorite holsters that I use when I'm out backpacking in the field. There are three holsters uh, that I like using and I'm going to talk to you briefly about them and then I'm going to go ahead and put them on with my backpack and show you what they look like. The first holster that I want to talk to you about is a uh, drop down holster. This particular holster here um, not expensive, you can get them anywhere from uh, $30 to about um, probably uh, $60. This one here is nylon, um, and what it does is that this one here attaches to your belt, and then you have thigh straps that go around your thighs, and it has uh, a retention strap for your weapon. A great holster, um, it allows for quick access to your weapon, and it's out of the way of all your gear when you're out in the field. Um, the only downside I would say to this holster would be if you're in the areas, a lot of hilly areas or mountains and you're up and down um, or you're going for long distance, this holder tends, tends to move a lot and it also, if you have a tooth tighter on your thighs, it does constrict a little bit of blood flow. But for the most part, it's a great holster to have um, and it's good for especially large caliber weapons. Second holster is a belt clip on holster. This one here is a Black Hawk Serpa. Again, has a retention um, mechanism on it. And this one here, you attach to your belt. But what I put, what I use this for, is I attach to the belt of my backpack. So again, I have quick and easy access to this particular holster. And when you take the backpack off, you take it off there, and you can attach it to your belt. And when you're in your base camp, you're free to do whichever, whatever you need to do. Uh, another good holster to have, um, and again, good for large caliber weapons. The third holster, and this is my favorite holster here out of all the three here, is going to be the chest holster. This one here is an Alaskan holster made of leather, and this particular holster uh, aligns to the center of your chest. Again, quick and easy access, uh, has a retention strap here on it, and um, when you take the backpack off, the holster is still on you, unlike this particular holster here that you got to take off your pack and put onto your belt. Um, drop down holster, um, you take the pack off. It's there, uh, and you don't have to worry about readjusting or realigning your, your weapon. But this particular holster here, this, this Alaskan uh, chest holster, is by far the one that I use the most and the one that you'll probably see me in my videos. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take a break, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these holsters on while I have my backpack on and show you what they look like. So stand by, and uh, I'll give you a demonstration on what they look like. Welcome back. As you can see, I have my backpack on and I have the three holsters that I talked about previously. The first holster is going to be the drop down holster. You can see that it uh, gives you uh, quick and easy access to your firearm as you're walking and it is away from the backpack. Again, the downside to this holster would be that if you're on a long hike and rough terrain, it has a tendency to move around and it can constrict the blood flow here with these thigh straps uh, to the uh, thigh area or the blood flow in the thigh area so it can't constrict that so it is um, something you have to consider if you're going to be going on long hikes in uh, very rough terrain but it's a good holster. The second holster is going to be the Black Hawk Serpa which is a belt clip on holster. This holster here attaches to the belt clip of the backpack and when you take the backpack off you need to take it off and put it onto your belt the only downside for that. Third holster is going to be the Alaskan chest holster or my chest holster. This is an Alaskan holster. This is my favorite holster. Um, I really like this particular holster. Again, it allows for quick and easy access as do the other two uh, holsters to your firearm. And when you take the pack off, it stays on you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take the pack off and show you what happens if you need to ditch your pack quickly in terms of the holsters. Pack's off, and now you see that I still have the chest holster on, I still have my drop down holster. The only holster that didn't stay on was it's gonna be the belt clip holster, which you gotta take off and put onto your pack. Uh, it's not that difficult to do so, but if you need to ditch and drop your backpack for whatever reason, uh, it does take uh, a little time, which could affect your ability to do what you got to do at that point if you got to ditch and drop your backpack. Um, again, it's a good holster, but uh, take that into consideration. 
I hope the video gave you a little more insight in terms of deciding which holster to use. There's other configurations that individuals use out in the field. These are the three that I use that I find to be the more comfortable and it allows for easy access to the weapon. Please check with your local, state, and uh, federal law in terms of carrying a firearm in the area that you're going to be backpacking in and make sure you're in compliance with that. I carry a 44 Magnum, that's my weapon that I carry. This holster, the chest holster, and the drop down holster are for that. The belt clip holster is for a 45. Again, I hope it gave you a little more insight in terms of uh, choosing a holster. And uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel, The American Backpacker, for future videos. I have a video coming up on a trip that I have going on next week in the Glacier Peak Wilderness up in Washington, and I'll be posting that video shortly afterwards. Again, this is Andy with The American Backpacker. Thank you for watching.